This is a 2021 Chevrolet Corvette C8 Stingray. And this is a 2015 C7 Z06. My father has owned this for the past five years and I've had this for the past week as a press loan from Chevrolet. I filmed a ton of videos with this on the channel, so go ahead and check those out if you haven't already. But while we had the two together, I thought it'd be fun to do a little comparison. We'll take a look at the exterior, interior, engines, and then we'll listen to the exhaust. I know it's not an apples to apples comparison. Ideally, we'd like to have a seventh generation sting right here, preferably in a similar color, which would be Long Beach Red Metallic, which was the color that phased out before this new color in 2021 called Red Mist. So go ahead and leave a like if you like what you see so far. Let's go ahead and take a look at the exteriors. Aside from the fact that this is a Z06 model, the biggest differentiation between the seventh and eighth generation is the fact that on the eighth generation now, it's gone to a mid-engine design. So the engine is no longer in the front. It's actually back here. This is allowed for better performance, better handling, and it's overall changed the layout of the vehicle. So we'll just take a quick little overview of the two. Exterior color here is red mist, like I mentioned, the new color for 2021. This is Arctic white. Everything is stock on this car, except we did lower it on the stock bolts. We do have the visible carbon fiber roof option on ours. And I do think the body painted color roof on this looks good, but I think also it would look really good if that had carbon fiber as well. And speaking of carbon fiber, I just got a new carbon fiber ridge wallet who's actually the sponsor of today's video this is a minimal front pocket wallet that is lightweight slim rfid blocking and has a lifetime warranty holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash on the back in addition to carbon fiber there's over 30 different colors and styles including aluminum and burnt titanium so if you're ready to ditch your old bulky wallet and upgrade you can get 10 percent off today and free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash drive 615 that's ridge.com slash drive 615 and use code drive 615 at checkout the link is in the description and top comment below as we work our way around here again the biggest change that you're going to notice is that the front end of this vehicle is a lot longer because it's got to have room for the engine there's nothing up here other than a, a trunk a little front trunk compartment so it's all right for this to be a little bit shorter i actually have more leg room in this one than i do over here and i feel like i have more headroom in this one than i do on that, we'll come down here, take a quick look at the wheels. Bright silver, aluminum painted 19 inch wheels here. And on the Z06, got 19s as well. Yes, both cars are dirty. Yes, we've been driving the two of them. Our apologies. And then back here in the rear, we've actually got 20s in the rear here and 20s over here as well and it's interesting too when you take a look from the front just how much sharper and pointed this one is and you see you've got the airflow on the outer parts through there and a little bit on the underneath part but this is mainly just one big portion right through there even the emblem has become a lot more pointed and sharp and skinnier on the eighth generation here than on this. Now, of course, the logo has pretty much stayed the same. It is the Corvette logo, but uh, just the shape of it, in my opinion, has changed. It, I mean, it definitely has. You take a look at it there, and you see it's about, you know, that much. And we bring that right over here. So that's just something uh, kind of interesting to note. Let's go ahead and take a look at the engine compartments. All right, so we've got everything opened up on the Z06. We've got a 6.2 liter supercharged V8 producing 650 horsepower, 650 pound foot of torque. We've got a heat extractor up there. And this is the part that's really not gonna be apples to apples because again, this is a Z06 model, so it's not fair, but I can't wait to see what's to come for this vehicle in the future as far as their 8th generation Z06 model. 6.2 liter V8 over here, 495 horsepower, 470 pound-foot of torque. Do have the carbon fiber appearance package. But again, you take a look at this. Engine's up here. A little trunk space back there. This one, just all trunk space back here. 
engine frunk front trunk so there you go just pretty cool to see um you know how it's changed over the years over the different generations and especially the biggest change from the seventh to the eighth let's go ahead and hop inside before we take a listen so we have the 3lz interior package adrenaline red interior just give you guys a little look around here on the interior of this one big change is going to be steering wheel take note of that this will become all digital this part has changed unfortunately we lose this i really do like that little bit on the uh seventh gen but uh that is since been replaced all this is going to be different of course this little bit is going to stay the same here this is how you change the mode selector keep an eye on that and then big change back here will be straight shot back to your cargo compartment here you'll see it's partitioned off on the c8 let's go ahead and fire it up for you let you get a little look at the interior give you guys a little uh rev here we are in sport mode of course we'll hop outside and do the full rev comparison but just want to show you guys also take, take a look at that that's something that's kind of interesting we'll uh hop over there in a second take a look at the eighth gen so you can see the difference here but uh here's the part to remove the hard top of course a little bit up through here let's go ahead and hop over there so over here we do have the 2LT interior package with the GT2 bucket seats. Take a look at that carbon fiber glistening in the sunlight. Like I mentioned, that big change here. Got the Squirkle steering wheel design now. Of course, this whole compartment has changed. Like I said, this stayed the same. And mode selector is now up here it's got this little bit of kind of the overhang on it this is how you change between all the different gears instead of the actual stalk i'll go ahead and fire it up for you guys here and as you see now this is all digital there through the instrument cluster and like i said we did lose that little hidden compartment because this is inset it's just solid there's nothing behind it it's kind of an interesting little change there and up here those three buttons you saw were actually in the rear view they've actually moved up to be hard buttons up here here's a part for the removable hard top and then back here like i said big change engines back there glass piece to separate you got a speaker right there and that flows into the wireless charging station we'll do one rev here on the inside before we hop behind both of them and take a listen there pop into z mode to get the maximum engine sound here we go all right let's go ahead and hop in the back so here on the seventh generation you'll notice we do have a quad exhaust however it's four circular exhaust pipes in the center over on the eighth generation you still get quad but it's dual two on both sides and they are square exhaust tips so interesting point to note there let's go ahead and take a listen So there you guys have it. Comment down to below, what do you prefer, C7 or C8? Obviously this one's not gonna be apples to apples. I really cannot wait for the eighth generation Z06. I'm hoping to bring you guys a first exclusive look at that, maybe either spotting it out in the wild or maybe I can do a collaboration with them somehow and check it out because I know you guys love seeing the C8 on the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Leave a like and comment down below with any questions, comments, or concerns you guys have. And we'll see you in the next video. All right, on the road, 
I am obsessed with the Z I and mean, I've been in that car for the last five years. I just love the look of it from pretty much every angle. I love the look of the C8, still warming up to it from every angle, but can't go wrong with a good Z06 to be honest. It's a pretty fun little view from back here. Good view on a Saturday morning. I love that center stripe and right above that, you know, get a beautiful view of the Z. Yo, it sounded good. It looks good too, man. Hey, I'm gonna follow you. I'll go through the tunnel with you. Okay. All right. You gonna get in front of me? Uh, you, you can go ahead. That guy let you in front of me? Yeah, he will. Hey, hey, bud, what's the retail on one of those? More than you can afford. Zero six. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, we'll let him go through the tunnel here for us. I know as much as you guys would love to see us race, I can't. This is a press loan. I have an obligation just to, you know, treat this car with respect and do a review with it. So that's all I'm gonna do. We did go for a little cruise up to his office and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little video.